More sobering news, state health leaders today are unveiling a plan that will help hospital workers decide who will live and who may die as the anticipated surge of Omicron COVID-19 cases is hitting our region. Lisa Balick is live in downtown, downtown Portland with uh, what she's learned about the grim choices ahead. Yeah, there's no doubt about it, Dan. Now, keep in mind, because we still have more than a million Oregonians who are not vaccinated, not even a first shot. And those hospitalizations are increasing, expecting to top more than 1,000 in just a few weeks. Out of ICU beds, out of caregivers, they are going to have to make some tough choices. This is a very difficult topic to uh, consider. An agonizing and surreal decision by Oregon doctors to devise a plan that will help hospital staff decide who will get life-saving help and who might not. It's for a worst case scenario, Oregon the latest among several states to roll out this crisis care standard if the Omicron wave fills up all the ICU beds. Our goal is to do everything we can to take care of patients in the best way possible. With the rise of Omicron in front of us, we recognize there could be a future point that the resources we need to do this are limited. It's a set of guidelines to use if there's not enough staff or equipment to save the lives of every patient coming in the door. While some states are taking into account factors like age or parent status, Oregon will not to avoid discrimination. Who gets critical care would be based on the likelihood of survival and being able to eventually go home. In the case that there are inadequate critical care resources to meet the needs of the patients who've presented to a hospital, the evaluation will occur for all the patients needing critical care um, to make that assessment on who's gonna need to uh, be able to get those most critical care resources. Again, it's for the worst case scenario after hospitals have transferred patients to other facilities, delayed non-urgent surgery and care, and used existing bed and space for critically ill patients. Right now, there are only 42 adult ICU beds open in the state, and Omicron hospitalizations are projected to climb to over 1,600 by the end of the month. So what can you do besides being vaccinated, getting your booster shot? Well, if you have any kind of symptoms, cold-like symptoms, you're not sure, you can't get tested right away, stay home, Isolate yourself, put on a mask if you're around other family members, try and reduce these numbers because these are really incredibly hard times ahead. That's what we're being told. Back to you.